Hey campers, George here, back in the man cave. Yep, looking at another sharp and shiny. This one, kind of special, for me anyway. A couple of weeks ago, I was contacted by a young lady that I've mentioned before, Lacey Lace, and uh, who I met on Instagram, who what, who's actually a subscriber and watches my videos and everything, and uh, is a big knife lady. She's a professional sharpener, um, and I've seen her work. It's pretty impressive. Anywho, she contacted me and said, you know what, George, there's a special going on right now, and I know that you'll be interested in it. And she put me on to this. Yep, an exclusive from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And what it is, is it's a case. Yeah, a case knife. It was on special and an exclusive to Smoky Mountain. Well, I thought, let me have a look at this. And then I looked and I was like, wow, i got to get this. And I was all over it. And lo and behold, it arrived. Actually, a little bit ago. And I've just got time to have a look at it now. And wait until you see what i got to show you and what's going on with it. Let's check it out. So here it is, yeah, it's a, it's a case, and the, the number on it, the model number, 01080, and it's the Yellow Synthetic Smooth Trapper, and not only that, it's carbon steel, yeah, carbon steel. So I got it, and I had a quick look at it, I just opened it up and had a look. Didn't really pay much attention to it, it's a case, I, I do own a case. <laughs> One, two now, but the one that I did own really impressed me. And that was the main reason I wanted to have a look at this. Not only that, this is an exclusive. Apparently, it's a collector item because there were very few made. I believe less than 500. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I saw. Anyway, here it is here. And it's the case Trapper carbon steel the the actual correct name is the case sm kw exclusive 1095 carbon steel yellow synthetic trapper there you have it there the official name and you, if you have a look at it, it i first off this handle i love this style very old school for me and i love it so, you know, being a case, I thought, yeah, I got, I got to get it. Case has a very good name. So, like I said, I went ahead and got it. And here it is. Yeah, and it's the trapper. And it's not a regular trapper. I've seen the smalls and that sort of thing. This is a little bit different. This is a one-off type thing. When I say one-off, it was a one-off run that Case did for Smoky Mountain. And uh, you can see it has that uh, the Case badge on it there. You can see Lights round. It is a trapper, so it'll have two blades. And it has the, the typical blades that you're going to find. And that's these two here. See them? <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty long. <laughs> Obviously, uh, if you know your blades, you've got a clip point here. Now, this clip point, eh, it's the long, thin style clip point, which I refer to as a California. Um, other people call it other names. I Offhand, I can't remember what they are, but I know it as a California clip. And then you have your spay. And everybody knows what a spay blade is for. And them cowboys out there and people like that, they use it a lot. Uh, castration is probably the most common. <laughs> yeah, I know nobody wants to hear that, right, guys? Anyway, let's have a look at each blade quickly. Uh, it is a, your your standard case knife. You've got that yellow synthetic. I I, I got to say I like that, and uh, I I like the yellow. It's it's very. I don't know what the word is. Subdued yellow. You know, it has the brass liners and pins, uh, which is pretty standard, and you can see them there. It's a very nice, I'm very proud of myself with this, by the way. And I can't thank Lacey Lacey enough for putting me onto this. Now, I know later on she's going to 
be getting hold of me about this because I've got to show you some stuff on it. But we'll get to that. So, you know, your, your brass liners and pins. And then, of course, there's the silver nickel bolsters on both sides. Um, very nice. Two blades. It is a trapper, typical. And the first blade we're going to look at here quickly is, like I said, the California clip. What I call a California clip. And you can see the blade there. Very nice. Very nice blades. I love these blades. And it has a nail neck. Nice long clip on it. Surprisingly, although I would call it a California clip, at the end here, this point, typically when a California clip is a lot thinner, it's not quite as thin on here, which probably is a good idea because a lot of people <laughs> snap off those tips because they, you know, they like me do stupid things with their knives. If you have a look on the knife there, it says the case. And if you have a look, you see the dots along the, the top of the case. Uh, if you look at a knife from case, and I'll show you this. I didn't know this. I'm learning about these things. Those dots, can you see? There's one, two, three, four on the top and five along the bottom, which is unusual. And that makes it different. Typically for this year would be 10, I believe, dots. How they work that out, I'm not sure, but I was told about that. I watched a video from uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works about this. And I'll put a link below so you can have a look at it. They they say that that's how you date um, the knife from case is using those dots. Don't know enough. <laughs> so, you know, it does have the case X there and it's a very nice knife. Length of the blade. Quick look. Uh, the clip is uh, the, the length 3.25 uh, tip to the uh, bolster. And uh, well, actually to the record so so a nice blade um thickness 0 0.06 of an inch thickness it's got some depth to it so a nice healthy blade i like that very nice now the other blade like i said before is a spay and we all know what a spay is used for but look at the length of this spay which is unusual uh if you you know i i read up a lot obviously i I like to look at history and things like that. A lot of people say this is not good for what it was designed for. Like I said, because it's so long, they prefer a shorter one. This is too far away from your working area. So unusual, but I'm not going to be using it for that. Uh, in fact, I doubt I'll be using this knife. This will be a, a collector for me. I'm not a collector collector what i'm saying is uh this all um this is a special knife for me kind of unusual it's not a common knife it's not going to be a common knife they say they're not going to be making another run on it and i believe they sold out don't take my word for it like i said i'll put a link <laughs> link below for you and you're going to have a look at that but back to the spay blade jane you can see it has that very distinctive shape to it that tip and it is long. Length of the spay, 3.27. Tip to the bolster or to that edge there. Very nice. Once again, nice and thick. You can see just how thick that blade is. Now we come to the point that I wanted to show you. And when you look at this, I was surprised to see it. One of the things that surprised me. You see on the blade there, look at that. It says USA 3254-1095. So this is 1095 carbon steel. Very nice. Love that. Okay. But look at that stamp. It's, it's totally crooked. <laughs> it's way off center. Do I care? Not really. I don't know how many of them are going to be like that. The one I saw on uh, SM, uh, on that video from Smoky Mountain was dead straight. Mine's crooked. Ooh, I have a special here. <laughs> yeah, 
it gets better. Well, I don't know if it gets better, but it does get better. I, I, I like this knife. Um, I'm a budget guy. Absolutely a budget knife guy. Simply because that's what my budget demands. And I can't spend a lot of money. This was not a lot of money. I was really surprised at the price of this knife. But we'll get to that. The next thing I noticed. <laughs> This is a case, I'm reminding you, this is a case knife from Smoky Mountain, okay? I want you to have a look at the uh, brass liners here. Let me see if I can get it. Hopefully you can see it. You see that? Look at that top liner right along there. Can you see it? There's a gap all the way along that top liner and at the bottom. Not quite as tight as they should be. Which surprised me. A uh, little disappointed in that, but do I care? Let me think. Not really. <laughs> it's a case. I own a case. Come on. You know, I... I, I, I love these knives. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm a Rough Rider guy. I'm a, a marbles knife guy. I like them cheaper ones. I like them. They, they fun to look at and things like that, but they don't have that reputation. And of course, this is made in the USA. That is the one thing I don't have. Well, now I do. I have two of them. Don't know what to say. Now we're going to get into it. Uh, quickly, uh, a quick spec on it. Like I said, uh, closed length, 4.13 inches. Bolster to bolster, it is 1095 carbon steel blades, yeah. healthy blades. So carbon steel, exclusive, who am I to complain? Having said that, <laughs> here we go. I was having a look at this and I, looking pretty carefully at it, I wanted to see why case is that much better than the knives I normally collect. Same thing. Smooth, clean, well-made, made in the USA, got some healthy weight to it, strong, thick blades, everything I need. It's carbon steel, 1095. Exclusive. The liners, a little bit of a gap. Mm. Do I care? Not really. What I do care about and let me see if I can find it now. <laughs> After having whined about this. Is I'm going to put my finger here and I'm going to show you. You see that? Let me get it. You see that? Right there. Right there. There's a crack. You see it? I don't know how deep the crack goes. It doesn't show up on the other side, which is a good thing, but kind of <laughs> surprised me. But you know what? It's a case and I don't care. Say what you like. All the collectors are going to go, you should have sent it back, yada, 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 yada. Sure, sure. I'm not that big into knives. I love knives. I love a sharp and shiny, can't beat them with a big stick. Any of my big sticks. I don't care about that. I don't think it's going to affect the knife. It's going to do anything for it. And like I said, uh, this for me is a collector for me. I, I don't intend to use it. I'm going to keep it just like this in its box, nice and safe. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with the price. And that's the part I like the best. And you can see it says case on it, very nice. And it has the nice blades. Got to show you the blades. <laughs> there you go, look at that. You can't beat that, okay? Now, how much did I pay for this thing? Are you ready? Remember I'm on a budget and I decided to pay that much. 
beat that with a big stick. You can't. Obviously, we're shipping with it. No big deal on the shipping. Um, you know, you, you can't beat that price. I was expecting 60 to $80 is what I was going to have to pay for this. You can't beat that price. And there's only 500 of them, allegedly. And you know what? I own one. <laughs> came in the nice box, came with all the extras and it came with it. And look at that. It's a, it's a thing of beauty. Can't beat it. So I thought, you know what? This deserves a little bit better than just a box. So I went online and got me a sheath for it. Look at this. From case. It is a case sheath right there. And it's, it says WR Case and Sons. And it says Bradford, PA. Very nice. I like the sheath. Not anything particularly special or solid about it. Very soft. Feels great. Basic belt sheath. I didn't know if the knife would fit. <laughs> so see this? It said it'll fit most regular case knives. And this will go right in there. Like that. There you have it. Do I dare put it on my belt? To be honest, I'm scared if I put it on my belt, I won't take it off. <laughs> Kidding. Nope. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, something that did surprise me, and like I said, I am an owner of two case knives. Let me get the other one for you. And here it is here. And this is the uh, case chrome vanadium. And this is just a sod buster. And let me tell you, uh, right now, of all the folders I own, I would say this is the nicest one I own. Clean, well made, and it's a working man's knife. <laughs> Look at that, that blade and thing. The problem is, is that I wanted a sheath for it. And I actually thought this would fit. Well, this is kind of too big. I'll show you what I mean. See, it doesn't fit, which is kind of disappointing, but I'm sure they have one for it, so I'm going to have a look for it. Because although this is a case, and typically when I buy a knife that is a little bit above my pay grade, <laughs> I don't intend to use it. But the more I handle this knife, the more I want to use it as my everyday EDC. I think this is a thing of beauty. So there you go. That's the other case I own. We're going to get back to this guy. Now I'm just going to compare the two of them so you can see the sizes of what I'm talking about and what makes this a little bit more exclusive. Look at that. The sword buster is way bigger. This is a little bit smaller. I like this size. And like I said, even with those issues that I found with this knife, I still think it is probably the best knife I own right now, as far as folders. Um, and you know what? That makes me happy, and that's all I care about. So there you go. The case. Smoky Mountain Knife Works, exclusive. And what do they call it? The 1095 Carbon Steel Yellow Synthetic Trapper. And I like, I, I love this knife. So there you have it. And all I got to say right now is thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Lacey Lace for getting me in touch with this. I love it. I don't care what's wrong with it. It's not perfect, but it's mine. And you know what? It's still a collector. And those little things wrong with it. I don't care, and it just makes it more so mine. And what can I say? All I can say is thank you. So, while we're on that subject, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back again. I don't know if I can afford another case knife. 
maybe at that price, but I doubt if they'll have another one like that. It is a nice knife. And I'm proud to be owner of it. So there you go. You will be safe out there, especially with them sharp and shinies. You know the story. <sighs> Pretty sure I'll be back. Another sharp and shiny. I doubt if it'll be as good as this, but it'll be a good one. Just not quite as good as this. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Thanks for watching and you will be safe out there. Take care now. Thanks for watching.